Hello and welcome back to Pokemon Sword, where today we are going to be entering the finals of this gym challenge thingy and seeing if we can't deliver Leon his first defeat ever. Hop, you better not want to battle me again. Okay, good. You're just saying hi. Sure. I'm gonna beat your brother. Hope you're cool with that. Of course, he doesn't have anything new for us. Yeah, that's why I already. Er, wait. Was that the semifinals last time? Because we also, we did two matches, so it had to be more than just semifinals. It's not semifinals if there's multiple rounds. There were also quarterfinals in there. All the gym leaders, or... Yeah, sure. So I guess they're doing this instead of an Elite Four type deal. Hi. Yeah, you're not gonna. Oh, don't worry. I won't use Dynamax either. I'll, I'll prove that you can win without it. I mean, I haven't used Dynamax in a while, so I feel like I've done enough to help the people of Spike Myth prove that Dynamax isn't required. Yeah, sorry, you're going to lose. So I'm guessing we will end up facing Raihan as like the last dude in the finals here. So I'm guessing B, what's his name, Kabu, and Raihan. Or wait, no, we might have Piers, but probably not. I'm ready. Are you going to tell people what Pokemon trainers are? All right. I'm ready to win them all. Oh. That's right. You're a gym leader now, aren't you? You look like bubblegum. I mean, you're a gym leader now, aren't you? So technically, shouldn't you have a right to participate in this tournament? Also, I guess we're going to force him into retirement. Oh.
Is that what's happening? It's probably a trial for me. And also, again, he's either the fairy type gym leader now or he's gonna be. So, yeah, he has a right to participate. That's all it is. Kind of interesting that they brought Mawile back, but they didn't bring Mega Evolution back. Like, without Mega Evolution, Mawile is less than great. Goodbye, Mawile. Oh, Gardevoir. It's a little bit overlappy with the Hatterene, but what you gonna do? Uh, I mean, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Steel Wing. Probably get away with using some Hone Claws here. Because that'll make Steel Wing hit even more often. Yeah, let's do that. I don't think there's... Well, Gardevoir can learn Thunderbolt. But I guess she's learning Wish. Let's hone some more claws until the wish comes true. Okay, we can't let that Gardevoir just set up on us. Two hone claws is gonna be more than enough. Even one was probably more than enough. Sorry about your wish. So, is this also Psychic Fairy? Because I know it's Psychic type when it's just a Ponyta. Is your entire team other than Mawile going to be Psychic Fairy? Yeah, it, it gains the Fairy type. There's more Fairies than just Psychic Fairies. Yes, I do. And you're gonna like Gigantamax this Hatterene and I'm not even gonna care. That's three Pokemon in a row he sent out that were Psychic Fairy. There's so many more Fairy types he could have used. But I guess he was forced to use these ones because they were pink. Like, are there not other fairy types that are pink, but also not psychic types? Also, come on, only four Pokemon. Congrats on losing. Were you? I mean, I think you just showed everyone how little diversity you had in your selection. There's so many more fairy types than what you used. You could have shown them more than just fairy psychics. Uh, he said he would retire, though. Oh. Well, I'm sorry. Maybe if you were actually good, then... Like, good at Pokemon battles. Then your plans wouldn't be messed up. 
Like, at least diversify your fairy types a little. There's no excuse to have three quarters of your team have the exact same type combination. Okay. Oh, everyone's gone. I don't know how many more chances I'll get to zigzag down this corridor, so... That's me. Hi, Nessa. I didn't expect you to be one of the ones that we ended up battling. Yeah, talent that's going to defeat him. <laughs> that is very wrong. That too is very wrong. That also is very wrong. Yep, also wrong. You say a lot of wrong things. Did you know that? Ooh, Galisopod. I like Galisopod. It's great. I'm sorry, but... You're not washing any teams away here. Uh, I guess I Dark Pulse it. Just maybe get it down to half health, force it to swap out. Yep. Bye, Golisopod. Who do we got next? Really? A Sea King? What, are you hoping for some horn drill hacks here? Do I swap? I think I swap. Yeah, let's swap. Hopefully it doesn't use peck or whatever. Flapple should be able to handle this team no problem, though. With its double resist against water. Ooh, Aqua Ring. Mild annoyance, but if we one-shot you, it won't matter. Let's see some grab apple action. Yep. Ooh, Barrascuta. I wonder how Barrascuta feels about apples. Oh, okay. Wasn't expecting Ice Fang, but at least now I know it's there. I swear, if you don't have a Gyarados on your team, I'm going to be very disappointed. Okay, Golisopod's back. So, its bug moves are a little scary, but if we use some acrobatics and we're faster... Oh, we're not faster. Ouch. Sorry, Flapple. Okay, so... Yeah, I guess Grimmsnarl with those Thunder Punches. First impression's gone, so we don't got to worry about that. And now if she does have a Gyarados, it's getting Thunder Punched. Ooh, Pelipper's getting very Thunder Punched. I... Definitely would have sent out the Pelipper earlier, though. Get that drizzle going so that you can 
get the water damage boosted. But again, the Pokemon she would have sent it out against would have been Flapple, which resists water like a lot. So I guess she's made an okay choice. Is it gonna Gigantamax this time? Well, uh, which is stronger? They're both 75. Well then, let's see if we can paralyze. Yep, that's Gigantamax. This turtle looks like it's wearing a turtleneck. Ooh, that is tanky. So you're getting rid of the water? Or the rain, rather? Feel like you would have been better served by using a water move there. Whatever. Oh, if I revive Flapple for this, it'd be so good. But no, I'm I'm gonna play it fair. I'm not using any items unless my opponent does. Held items don't count. Ow. I expected to survive that, but I guess that didn't happen. Um, we could use neutrally effective water. Colossal would just get super dead. And Frostmoth would also get super dead because rock. So I guess finishing it with Inteleon is the way to go. Inteleon now is very much not the time to want to be petted. And Nessa, I will see you lose here. Good effort, though. You beat two of my Pokemon. Because I elected not to use any items. Sure is. Yep. Hmm. Will do. Okay, so we're up against B next. Oh, Pierce beat Kapu. Surprising. But he's probably going to lose to Raihan, isn't he? All right. So let's just... Or wait. Are Pokemon okay? They sure are. So B is up next with her fighting types. Yep. Uh-huh. So we got one of the version exclusive gym leaders in the uh, finals here. But not both of them. Kind of surprised, but what you gonna do? So we got Halucha out front. 
Alucha is not known for having amazing defenses. Also, Ice Beam. Goodbye, Halucha. So I don't have any Psychic types now. But I do have Corviknight. So, Surfetched, is that fighting Steel or just fighting? I forget. I'll act like it's just fighting. Fairy's good against fighting too, isn't it? But Grimmsnarl is... Or does Fairy resist fighting? I don't think it does. But I could be wrong. Either way. We can just drill peck the entire team. Yep. Bye, other bird. I still think these guys should be steel fighting. What's their armor for if not to make them steel types? Come on. Ooh, they lived. Just had to slow me down. What little jerks. Really? Using a full restore on those? Mild ouch. Just stay the course. Though I do appreciate that you have a grap locked. Grap locked is great. And I love it. Just look at it. It's an octopus. And it's blue. And it uses a tentacle as a belt. What's not to like? Okay, you're gonna Gigantamax this Machamp. Still wish Gigantamax Machamp gained arms. That would be neat. But no. It gets pants. Alright, this is your last chance. Really? As a fireman? I guess that might have been Fire Punch. Because I assume the developers expected people to use Corviknight against the fighting people because it's a good bird that's available early on and you've probably been leveling it the whole time. Yeah. Still not really a huge deal. where you beat none of my Pokemon and most of your Pokemon fell to one of mine. And we are indeed against Raihan. Kind of disappointed we don't get to fight Piers again, but hey. At least we're holding the torch for him that you don't need to Dynamax to win. 
He sure did. Uh, I've been doing that this whole time, Pierce. I'll win for you. All right, well, we've got dragons coming up. Still gonna leave Inteleon out front. It's got Ice Beam. Was thinking of swapping to the uh, Frost Moth, but Amulet Coin, you know how it is. Gotta get more of those Poke Dollars. Me. Yes. Nope. I sure have. I guess. Uh huh. Oh. I think I'm still going to beat you. Seriously, Torkoal? That's not even a dragon. Oh, we're still doing weather shenanigans, are we? Not Sandstorm this time? Hmm. So, Snipe Shot will be doing half damage. So, it'll be effectively base 60. Plus super effective, so 120. Whereas Mud Shot would only be 110. So, Snipe Shot's still better. Yep. Ooh, a Gudra. Yeah, let's bring out Frost Moth. Same type attack bonus Aurora Beam is the same as the Ice Beam. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Damage-wise, it'll be just fine. Oh, but Gutra is really specially defensive, so... It might stick around after this Aurora Beam. Do I Quiver Dance? No, because we're not going to be great for Duraluda. But then again, Ice is fine. It won't be super effective, but it'll be fine. So yeah, let's Quiver Dance. Okay, we're swapping out the sunny day. Is this just an all-weather team? Is there a type of weather you do not want to use? Are we going to see some hail as well? Let's quiver dance again. Though this thing might be using thunder. There's a chance, but we should be fine even if it is. Oh, surf. Unexpected. Wow, that was rain boosted. Oh, because Quiver Dance boosts special defense. That's right. Uh, let's go for a third. I'm greedy. accuracy, doesn't it? Okay, I guess it didn't this time. Or maybe it just never does. But hey, we are definitely fine for a clean sweep now. Uh, 
Okay, Terminator Ice will just be neutral on. But... Ooh, and its fire is actually kind of spooky. Should have quiver danced. But Aurora Beam isn't a physical attack, so maybe... Yeah, so the Shell Trap doesn't matter. Because it's not a contact move. And Rain is gone. Here comes Flygon to take this quadruple damage Aurora Beam. Where's your sand, buddy? Or are you the one who was meant to bring the sand? No, you're not going to beat him or me. I mean, sure, I, I'm pretty sure Steel is going to be effective against Frostmoth. But we've definitely got the speed. And I think we've got the uh, special attack to bring this thing down. I know its physical defense is huge from the last time we fought it. But its special defense might not be so good. That's what I'm banking on here. And if it does survive and beats Frostmoth, oh no, we'll be down one Pokemon. Yeah, no, we're good. Probably could have gotten away with just one or two uh, Quiver Dances, but three was definitely more than enough. Yep. Uh-huh. Will do. Mm-hmm. It sure is. Oh, thanks. Uh, doesn't matter to me. I'm going to be the one who wins, so you can join the winning team or not. a championship match to win, but first it's time to end this episode. Join us next time when we will prove that Leon is beatable. See you then, friends. <laughs>